Greetings, travelers. This is Taste. Yeah, this is the show that we sample trends that shape and define culture. What are we getting? I think Pineapple. we're getting a new car. No. Uh, it's pineapple. I just really feel like it's gonna be music. It's not gonna be. It's gonna be music. I'm just gonna. Yeah, All right. I bought you. There's just gonna be music in here. It's Whoa. Oh, it oh. is. Wow. Wait. Uh, <laughs> All right. Let's take out this one. That's a. That's a hand. What would be a hand? But the things. Guys, oh, um, today we're talking about feng shui. Feng shui, as it were. I know this is a fig plant. That's a fig plant. So it's called a fiddle leaf fig, and that's called macrame. Macrame. Is this like a thing? A kudra mall. Excuse me. Yeah, you heard what I yeah. said. I don't know what. He said. What did you say? Don't worry about it. Well, today we're <laughs> talking about millennial decor. Millennial decor. We've got baby, my sweet little baby plant. Little fig fig. My sweet little baby my macrame. Bad. So I'm because learning. millennials love fig newtons so much, Speak there's been what? a big push to to home grow organic fig newtons. So if you if you just <clears throat> if you pull out the roots, <laughs> yeah, it's a just, winner. There's just some fig newtons there. Some fig the bottom. Some the fiddly fig. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think it's safe to say Seems. that none of us really know about the fiddly fig or I, the macrame. What are we? What did you? What are we looking at? Fiddle what? Leaf oh. oh, there it is. There it is. Oh. He said Wait, we've been sitting around this whole thing. time. It still came up. I, I was right here. Leaf. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, I, yeah, would, I would like leaf. to hear 10 things nobody tells you about fiddle leaf fig trees. All right. You cannot grow a new fiddle leaf fig tree from a leaf. Common misconception we've all. All righty. You can buy a fiddle leaf fig tree for $12.99 from Ikea. A tiny fiddle leaf fig might suit yourself. Hey. Oh, your lifestyle better than a tree. Like I'm saying, my sweet little baby fiddle leaf fig. Well, what do you call the babysitter for your uh, fiddle leaf uh, fig? The fiddle oh, let me see. Leaf. The chloroplast sitter. So the idea is like this plant has become not necessarily like about having, you know, having plants or like good environmental plants in your house, but it's a more of a designer trend. Ah, uh, yes. Back to our... Back to our macaroni. Lovely harp. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> a form of textile produced using knotting techniques. The primary knots of macrame are the square or reef knot and oh. forms of hitching. So this thing has been macrameed. Crocheted macrame. Oh, macrame. Nice. <laughs> what is wrong? You're ruining the macrame. No, I'm not. I'm, re I'm reinventing myself. Yeah, like I feel like you would before. only have this if you wanted to take a picture of it and put it on Instagram. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe mm -hmm. there's people, you know, they get done with a long, stressful day of work. And they walk in, sniff their, their fiddle, fake, you know, fiddle leaf plant, and they they touch just, their macro. They, they, they look no, at just kind of walk by and just ah, stress reliever. Is it is it nice to have things like this in your room that are different, new, unique, or is it becoming something that is just solely used for trend purposes? I like it. I, it's not my my kind of thing to have like I don't know stuff like this, yeah. but I respect it. Like if I go into your room, I'm not gonna be like, oh, you're that type oh, of person. You nah, like, <laughs> we're starting to move into. I mean, obviously, like it wasn't until 2016 for yeah. both of them, right? So. Now everybody's moving to a space where it's not what you need, but what can you get that people may not have or may not have seen before. But also you might just like it. If you had to pick one, all right, would you pick the fig leaf, the fig leaf, leaf or the macaroni macrame? I'm Leave going a with comment. the fig leaf. I'm going with the plant. I'm going to go with the macrame. Oh, my mom would totally put Absolutely. this up. Absolutely. Yeah. And I would love saying. it. Yeah, I, yeah, like my mom would put this up and she would have this somewhere Something in some like corner. Cool plant. I would lay in the living room and think about hammocks all day long. <laughs> we just moved in uh, freshman students to my college, right? Mm -hmm. And the stuff that they were mo moving in compared to what I was moving in was crazy. Totally like different. they're moving in all these cool, like things like these, like really cool designs. In my opinion, I was always like, the less that I move in, the less I have to move out, right? I mean, like, I was so with that. Right? So, so, but for me, we I feel like the culture that we're diving into is this culture of like really wanting to do whatever it takes to feel at home. And I'm about it. Like, I'm about people getting things that are different, that are cool, half hammock, you know, figly Newton plant. Figly I, Newton. I'm, I'm all about it, y'all. Bring on, bring on the new designs. <laughs>
If room decor can influence culture, so can you. This is Taste. I'm Ty. I'm Malcolm. I'm Blaine. See you next time. Peace. Woo!